All right, today's training video, we got our uh, Magnum 2000 fogger that works in our laser tag. It's not being responsive. Uh, there's also a laser light over top of it, like a, uh, a panning light. It's out as well. So we think we had a power surge on the outlet itself. They're both not operational, but we've checked it again since, and there is 120 volts running through the circuit or through the plug itself. So we open the back up here, and we found down on the inside, so I can zoom in and not blind the camera, right about in the center of the light there, yeah, it's going to be too hard to see. There's a, uh, a fuse that was in there, and it was, it was popped, it was fried. We're going to push a new one in there, um, if I can get how close I can get with that. Yeah, you should be able to almost try and get a better tilt on it almost in the dead center of the image just to the right of the black block with the two screws in it uh, there is a uh, 20 millimeter fuse snap in there we're gonna go ahead and throw a fuse in there be careful if you're make sure it's unplugged when you're working on it uh, snap the fuse down in there but be careful when you put the fuse in don't bend open the terminals that the fuse is going in too much if you bend it open it'll, it won't get a good connection and uh, you can burn out the board spot on there just by uh, having a loose fuse in there. So I'm going to go ahead and pop that fuse in. Take some of this out. See so I can get, uh, get down in there. So I got it resting. Sorry. I got the fuse resting down in there for right now. I'm just going to push it in with my fingers. And we're going to try powering it up, see what happens. Hope we get a positive uh, outcome in this. Okay, uh, first of all, nothing's going to happen. <laughs> I don't have my controller hooked up in the back, so I'm going to have to take this up and I'll re-plug it back in. I'll connect that controller, the wired controller for it, see if we can get some fog going. All right, so I got it back into the laser tag arena. I'm going to go ahead and reconnect the remote cable. Let's see here. All right, now I'm going to try powering it up. I'm connecting the 120 volt line to the wall here. Let me go see if it's on in the actual main control room. Alright, so I got our uh, control, remote control in here. See, it's actually off. Alright, I saw that when I turned the remote on, light didn't come on. Leads me to believe that our breaker is off. So I'm going to go ahead and get that up and running. Go back and check that remote, see if it lit up. Alright, so I came back in. Yes, uh, maybe it's hard to see with these red LED strips going over the top, but I do have a red power indicator light right here that's gone off. Uh, with our Martin Fogger, anytime you turn it on, it automatically starts to program a, a timer where it'll emit smoke every so often. Uh, this just controls the output. The dial controls the output. Uh, to cancel the timer, you hold the button down for five seconds. Once you've held it down for five seconds, you just let it off, and that'll cancel the timer, so it'll only be done manually, which is what we like, or else sometimes you come in the arena, and the arena is full of fog. So I've canceled the timer. If you turn the smoke indicator down, or uh, the smoke output down enough to where it just cuts the light off, the LED, then you need to reset that timer again, or else it'll just fill back up with smoke in the arena. And it doesn't have to click to be off. If it just goes off enough to where that LED goes out, see if I can make it do it. I'll cut my white light off here, maybe make you see it better. There you go. So you can see the LED now at the top. If you just turn this knob down just enough to where the light goes out, but it doesn't click, you still have to cancel the timer because you just restarted the timer. All right, and I'm going to go in and look and see if the lights, the power indicator lights on the back of the fog machine look right. 
All right, so I'm getting some positive response out of the fog machine. Sorry, I got to check something. Uh, so I get two, I got the two red LED lights. One is heating up, and the other one's letting me know that there's power. Uh, it'll come on with a green light when it's ready. I need to check something out here. I'm seeing a stream of smoke. Hopefully, it's just a little drop of some uh, fog juice got up here. Okay, so uh, I had a small stream of smoke coming out of there. Uh, didn't find out what it came from, so I'm hoping it's just a drop of something, maybe just evaporating off of there. Uh, I could smell a little bit of not like electrolytic capacitor fluid, but I could smell more like the fog juice when it came out of there. Uh, just to give you a heads up or some knowledge maybe it might help you out, I uh, wish I had the camera running. Probably would have been a lot better. Uh, this thermal heat sink right here, uh, I touched it, and it does have a little bit of voltage going through it. It gave me a, a good tingle straight up my arm while I'm up on this ladder. So uh, lucky it wasn't enough to put me off the ladder, but... Uh, Fair warning, learn from my mistakes. Uh, even just the, even that thermal, that thermal heat sink had a little bit of current going through it. So I'm wondering if that tells me that one of my grounds is off somewhere. But everything appears to be connected and solid. Anyways, uh, we got it up and going. I'm just going to wait for a while, let the, the, the thermal element heat up, see if I can output some fog. Remember, always be careful when working on these electronics. When they're plugged in, they can bite. 